My best friend is gay and there was a very hard time because he was scared to tell that and then his father found a picture in his computer and on that picture my best friend was kissing his partner and then the father changed the position to him and it was really sad actually in one moment we were thinking about moving my best friend into my family's house and it was really difficult so I want to ask you should we continue fight against this stigma discrimination? My best friend went for an HIV testing when the service provider found out that she was 16 and sexually active, he got angry and told my friend <coughs> that she was too young to have sex. Do you think that service providers should be trained to provide youth-friendly services? When I was 10 years old, a nice woman came to our class and we were speaking about sexual education, about sexual issues. I'm lecturing in schools now. Do you think I've made a good decision? <coughs> And I am sad and angry and fed up with the fact that there are so few men working for us a job. Do you think men should be involved in the movement for better access to SRA job services and sexual rights? Do you think that sexual education in your countries is always the most appropriated and high quality? Do you agree that every woman on earth should have access to free abortion and safe work? Do you believe that young people can be a valuable part of civil society? I would like to share with you a real story. A friend of mine got pregnant. The school director said she want to leave school, but she want to stay and finish her education. Do you think it should be her decision? To stay in school? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. No, I love the kind of thing we get together and so on. So I love that. Yesterday, when we was preparing this meeting, I saw that we discussed too much. Sometimes I stay like this, I stay like this, but uh, I think that uh, I'm happy today because I think that uh, the people get our point, you know. And this was the first time you talked to him? This is the first time. I don't even know him. We met funny. I mean, it was very interesting. I went to the shop to get um, credit. He was there. He was just looking at me. And I said, how are you, sir? He said, I said, where are you from? I said, from Sierra Leone. And then he started speaking my language. It was just like that. <laughs> and I think that uh, <coughs> the people there or understand what what we want to say. They get our point. Yes. Europe, Africa, Pacific and what, Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean <laughs> always together. Step by step we will win my friend. Definitely we will win. Yes, I will see you in Angola. Yes, Africa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot the words. We are full of energy, we are full of power, and we are full of new ideas, and we really want to do something, and this is the reason why I think we really can do something. And I think that the basic issue is that I could like sign with the blood every IPPF statement. So I just love it. 
Um, I consider it very necessary to engage in advocacy work because young people within the African continent are being marginalized. That we can get together and do something good for the world maybe and uh, we also get you know, another culture and so on. So because we are young, we easily can understand the problems of young people.